Hello everyone, I'm Jin and you can call me Ken. This is Victor Engine Tutorial for Battle Motions Part 6. And this time I'm going to teach you how to use an if else statement. So I just create a magic and I just name it if else because I really don't know how to name it. So just use if else. And inside the if else, I've got three choices if, else if, and else. And when I choose the different ones, the acro will have different pulls and cause the bat to different damage. So let's just first try if. So victory and damage 10. Now let's try a different one. So now let's just try the else if. So different poses and then 20 damage. Now the last one, it was the else. So let's just choose the else and I'm dead and then it was the 30 damage. And after this, let's just go to see how I do this. So I've just used a common event and you can see the tutorial for common events for part 5. So this is how I change. Actually, first add just some tags and then show a choice. Inside the choice, I'll just change the variable. I'll change it to 1, 2, and 3. And later, I'll just use this variable for the condition inside the value statement. Now let's just go to your skills and take a look at the note tag. So first inside the prepare sequence, I just have an event and I just use the event tool. It was the common event you just see. Later it was inside the movement and I don't want it to move so I just put the if else statement inside here. So inside here you could see there is if, else if, else, and end. So first, you need to use an if, and after if, you need to put this right behind the if, and also the else if, also put this right after the if. But when it's the else, there's nothing behind, and also and there is nothing behind. And after the if. It was the condition you want. So inside here, just put the condition you want, and the condition here it was just I want this variable 2 to be 1. And then it will run this motions. So I'll have a victory motion. And if now the value is not 1, and is equal to 2 then you run this else if and after this else if is the action you want and now this action is just a motion so my user will just have this spell motion and if the value is not 1 is not 2 then your O goes to the else so now this time I just put a dead motion for the user inside the else. And just after all this if, else if and else, then you must put it to an end. And after this if else statement is end, then just run something you want. And I just want it to wait for this motion. To finished. So after it finished, then you just go to the execute. So I just put another if and else if statements right over here. This time I just control the damage. So to use the damage, it was really simple. Just first put an HP right over here. And then your subject you want to plus or minus the HP. 
and then the value you want the enemy, enemy HP to be plus or minus and in the end if you put a show over here then there will be a damage pop up if you don't do this then there won't be a pop up and that's pretty much it yeah so after that I wanted to wait until the damage pop up so just use a wait and for the target and after that in the finished I want all the battlers to go back to their previous pose so I just use a reset over here and with this you can just do what I just shown and actually I didn't put any animations here because it'll be faster to teach you and it'll be simple so if you just want more then just hit enter and put what you want inside just hit enter and put what you want inside and that's all and I guess this is the end for this tutorial if you like it please thumbs up or subscribe thank you very much